breakfast at the famous food street here at Resort World. So later today, going to an all-you-can-eat Lunar New Year buffet with lobster, king crab, Peking duck dim sum. First, a little breakfast burger. So this is a tiger burger from the burger barn here at Famous Food Street, which basically is a street food food court. And this tiger burger is made with coleslaw, teriyaki sauce, slice of cheese, and kimchi mayo. This is a really good burger. And besides this patty being delicious, and the sauce is sweet and umami filled, they really toasted the heck out of these buns, like butter toasted. Kind of tastes like a in and out burger bun. Mmm. And that with a spicy kimchi mayo. Makes this one scrumptious burger. Bun is also really soft and airy. Slaw is crispy and refreshing. And you definitely taste the kimchi in here. Mmm. Whenever I eat late at night, next morning I wake up starving. I don't know why. So in the morning, I had to get something in my stomach before buffet time. And before getting into this video where I went to one of the best breakfast buffets in the world in Hawaii, I just want to give a big thank you and shout out to the sponsor of this video, Surfshark VPN. Internet safety and security is something everybody should take very seriously. Especially wherever we go, we're always connected to random hotspots like at hotels, cafes, airports, train stations. And I don't know if you notice, a lot of times when you connect to these hotspots, usually you'll get a message saying that the hotspot is not very secure because they're not. And these are great ways for people to gain access to your personal information. That's why I recommend that everybody utilize a VPN. So what a VPN is, is a virtual private network. And what Surfshark VPN does is that it secures and encrypts your personal information before it goes over the internet. So people who you don't want having access to your private info, they're not gonna have access to it. And people who want your private info can range from uh, data aggregators who are just trying to sell your information for a profit to people who are trying to do something more malicious, like finding out your location in real time, which happened to somebody I know. It's scary stuff. Also, Surfshark has something called Surfshark Alerts. So when someone's trying to gain access to something like your email, you're gonna get notified right away. Something else I utilize Surfshark VPN a lot for is on the entertainment side. If you wanna check out what other countries Netflix catalog look like, you can actually utilize Surfshark VPN to change your location to a different country. So you get access to that country's Netflix library. Or vice versa, when you're out of the country, I talked about this a lot when I was traveling. If I wanted to watch a show that was streaming only on US streaming services, which is pretty much every streaming service except for Netflix. For example, Blue Bloods, I've been watching that for the last 10 years. I would use Surfshark VPN to change my location back to the US so I could utilize US streaming services. Or just to pay my bills. A lot of times, major websites will not work when you're traveling abroad. Basically, at all times, my phone, my laptop, always connected through a VPN. It just makes everything safer, more secure. And so if you want to give it a try risk-free, go to my link down below. Use my promo code MIKEY. You'll get 83% off your order plus three additional months for free and try it out for 30 days if you don't like it for any reason. Them. Get your money back. Dinner is at this place I've been wanting to try for a while. So uh, Singapore is the first place yeah. I've ever been that I saw this dish called floating noodles where they fry up these noodles and stand them straight up like a waterfall. It's like cascading noodles. They got three flavors of those types of noodles here. I think it should be good. Got an order of crispy spare ribs in addition to the noodles. Wow, this is fried so well, I can tell. Just grabbing it from the chopsticks, this outside is really crispy and it smells vinegary and sweet. The potatoes are nicely fried as well. This whole thing is just covered in sesame too. Like a good version of this dish, when you give it a nice deep sniff, it kind of chokes you a little bit without vinegary it smells. Right away, your mouth is gonna water, like mine's doing right now. Mm. This is very, very good. This and a bowl of rice, I'll be so happy. Because this sweet and sour sauce goes so well with carbs. The ribs themselves, nicely fried outer shell. Inside the meat is tender, it's got a nice chew. The sweet vinegary balance is perfect. My potato is perfect for me as well. Mm. And here it is. This is the signature flying noodle. So it's not like the last time I had it where the noodles were fried. All right, this one's a little less magical than what I had before. It's on like a, like a little rack. There's a structure beneath the noodles keeping it afloat. That's the magic. Still beautiful though. So this is the classic floating noodle. Remove the chopsticks one at a time, they told me. Oh, here we go. Uh, oh, and there, uh, it's the secret to this trick. 
carrots. So these are medium with wavy noodles. Underneath, corn, peas, carrots. On the other side, minced meat, peanuts, and some preserved veggies. Give these noodles a little mix. Interesting. There's a little gimmicky, obviously. Flavor though, not bad at all. Mm. Noodles got really good texture. I like the seasoning used in the minced meat. Nice crunch from the pickled veggies. The peas and corn, I don't love, but the shredded cucumbers provides a nice refreshing crunch. I gotta eat this before the shrimp dies on me. This is their salt and pepper shrimp. It's cooked with jalapenos, red chilies, and this stuff you can just pop in your mouth. Mm. Eat it with a little bit of the jalapenos. Mm. The shrimp is deep fried. It's peppery, it's spicy, it's garlicky. This is perfectly cooked. The shrimp is nice and crunchy, especially the tail part. Really crunchy, like I said. Don't really need to separate this from the shell. Pop in your mouth. Mm. Fresh out of the fryer. The shrimp is sweet, the meat is succulent. Heat it with the jalapenos for additional heat and additional crunch. This and the ribs, amazing. This is the sliced beef noodle. There we go. Same type of wavy noodles on the bottom though. Slices of beef in the same corn, peas, cucumber slices on the side. This one is a lot less saucy than the minced meat version. I think flavor-wise, I like the signature version much better. I mean, the slices of beef are really tender and nice. Picks some noodles up from the bottom where it touches more of the sauce. For me right now, I think that's my problem. Where the noodles are not all evenly getting distributed with the sauce. Look how tender that slice of beef is. Mm. This is so good. This is sliced marinated beef, and their version is very, very tender here. Ooh, didn't see the hot oil. I think it would have been better if I added a hot oil while the noodles are still floating. I think this one. Also add a little vinegar. They don't have black vinegar here. Add some white vinegar just so you can balance out the soy sauce flavor of the sauce. Yeah, add some hot oil, add some vinegar. Then these noodles are truly sore. Take some noodles, dunk it into the sweet and sour rib sauce. So good. That sauce is better on rice, but it's pretty darn good on these noodles. Overall, this place, food is solid. Very solid. Noodles are scrumptious, flavor is good. If you're gonna get a floating noodle, definitely recommend the signature. Highly recommend the salt and pepper shrimp and the ribs. You will absolutely love these two dishes. This buffet looks absolutely amazing. There's some local Hawaiian favorites. It's like seven in the morning. There's a huge steak on that buffet. And the view is even more beautiful. The sun hasn't even come up yet. There's people paddle boarding in the ocean. The waves are calm. Let me show you the spread. Three different types of juices. There's orange juice, pineapple, mint, passion fruit, iced coffee station. All your typical pastries, bagels, breads, muffins. Daily Bake Shop special. There's apple crumble, there's bread pudding, fruits, pineapples, strawberries, whipped cream, some cold cuts, smoked salmon, potato salad, acai bowl, oatmeal. Fresh catch of the day, grilled fish. There's a station for miso soup, soba noodles, yogurts, and the fresh food station grilled beef sirloin at seven o'clock in the morning. Miso butterfish, eggs benedict, three different types of sausages, whole giant platter of bacon, and this is um, kahala or thin pancakes with maple butter and potatoes. Soup of the day today is beef and vegetables. And here it is, whole brisket sitting over there. This is a breakfast spread unlike any I've seen before. This is more like a, like a brunch spread. Look 
how tender this brisket is. Holy moly. I am not putting a lot of effort into this and it's just falling apart. And also look at this giant chunk of fat. Oh, that is just absolute brisket perfection. Amazingly tender. I love how much fat they keep on this brisket. Mm. And that thing is just the ultimate melt in your mouth part of the brisket. Whew. That woke me up real quick. Thanks, Benedict. Perfect. So perfect. All gooey and runny. Dip my fatty brisket into this thing. That is a combination worth repeating over and over again. Eggs Benedict, perfect. Mm. Dunk some dewy sausage in there as well. Nice and snappy and spicy. Mm. Fresh catch of the day. Mm. That fish is so mild and flaky and tender. Again, dunk that and some of the egg yolk as well to give it some creaminess. Not a bad bite so far. So this is a local pancake that's just soaked in maple butter. Mm. I love it. I love it so much. It's kind of like a pancake crepe hybrid. The texture is nice and chewy. Even though it's soaked in that sauce, it still retains that nice texture. Also, this is as buttery as I'll get out. That's so nice. Chase that with a crispy piece of bacon. Actually, take my bacon, unroll the pancakes a little bit. That might just be the best pancake bacon combo I've ever had in my life. I need more pancake. Oh, after I finish this plate. Oh my gosh. Butterfish in Hawaii, you gotta try some. The texture is so flaky and dusting. Cooked in miso sauce. If you're a fan of the miso cod they serve at fancy restaurants, you'll fall in love with this. Nice and charred on the outside, supremely tender with a slightly sweet umami filled glaze. Mm. My miso flavor is profound. It adds the depth of the fish. That is way too good. Sirloin. Mm. I love this buffet. Can't wait for round two. Mmm. Huh. That mochi waffle has some chew. A little dense. Definitely not light at all. Texture is nice, though. They also have tamago, apple crumble, and bread pudding. Tamago is okay. Way more savory than sweet. Mmm. Bread pudding is spectacular. Nice texture. Perfect amount of sweetness and egginess. That was very nice. Finally, I think this is a strawberry, oh, this is great. This is a strawberry mascarpone. That is just creamy and heavenly. Mm. I like how this buffet pretty much has everything that you're craving for early in the morning. Everything is done perfectly. I love bacon wrapped in those little thin pancakes. Steak, fatty brisket. Those were fantastic options. There's also noodles, soba, there's omelets, fresh catch of the day, miso butterfish. It's just sublime. I think that's something that would have cost at least $20, $30 at a nice restaurant. Done perfectly here. And while you're stuffing your stomach, enjoy the view. And just watching the sun appear over the ocean while digging into a beautifully golden eggs benedict. That's an experience. So today's just gonna relax a 
bit, go into town, heard about this beautiful sandwich place, and at night, I heard the ramen scene in Honolulu is amazing. For now, more breakfast. This is probably the most picturesque place I've ever had a meal. There's a little sandwich shop right by Costco. It's a little hard to find, but it's right by the most beautiful water. There's people kayaking, boating. The water is calm. It's just the most beautiful place. And there are these tables with umbrellas that you can just sit at and enjoy lunch. And the place I went to is called Mala Market. And I found it because I was looking for a citron place and I was looking for Mala and this thing popped up. But look how beautiful these sandwiches are. So colorful. Each sandwich has an array of veggies like purple cabbage, carrots, some sprouts in there, cucumbers, tomatoes. The first one is their chicken salad, which has grapes, walnuts. Mm. Oh, that's a good chicken salad sandwich. Huge chunks of chicken. Every bite, you get a burst of juice and sweetness from the grapes. That's some nice crunch from the veg and some natural sweetness from the carrots. That is such a delicious sandwich, but also it's so healthy as well. Tons of vegetables, all providing their natural sweetness. Super, super fresh. It's crunchy, it's juicy, it's sweet, it's savory. It's on delicious wheat bread. Eat this, go for a swim. That'd be really good for me. This is roast beef with horseradish sauce. On the same type of bread, same veggies. This is my favorite. I like the chicken salad a lot. It definitely has a more variety, textures, and flavors, but I love roast beef and horseradish. I love it. And this thing, that really nice bite from the horseradish. Roast beef's delicious. Of course, that symphony of vegetables. And there's dipping sauce as well. Oh, this is so good. It has more of a creamy, herby element to the sandwich. It's a little vinegary as well. Also, their drink is a mix of um, pineapple juice and iced tea. This thing is delicious and it makes me feel better about myself for having eaten it. No wonder this place always alive. Also, got a clam chowder. They have soup of the day. Mm. I love clam chowder. I get it every chance I get. Awesome clam flavor in this. It's rich, it's creamy. The flavor is so good. Mm. This is a very satisfying bowl of clam chowder. That's a great place. First of all, Food's delicious. It's beautiful to look at. You can come here and eat right by the ocean. It's good for you. If they ever offer the clam chowder, you gotta get a bowl. And also, get this too. Pineapple and iced tea. Who knew? Uncle Clay is one of my favorites in Oahu. It just tastes so magical. A shaved ice with a scoop of ice cream on top. And this is a rainbow flavor. So there's fresh pineapple, fresh mango, it's one of the most refreshing desserts you'll find anywhere. It feels like your tongue just jumped into the icy cold waters on a scorching hot day. This is a perfect thing in between meals as a palate cleanser. Creamy, it's citrusy, it's icy, it's fruity. I mean, we've all had shaved ice before. Hawaiian shaved ice, try something else. Last meal of the day, Chunku Ramen. Starting out with some chashu quesadilla. This smells incredible. This is really, really good. First of all, the wrapper is so freaking toasty. I think maybe a soy sauce glaze on the outside to give it a little bit of sweetness. Hana umami. Dip it in the salsa and inside. Pork is so tender. Wow. Really tender and really fatty. Also, this nice charred flavor on the outside it brings a little bit of bitterness to this. So they told me their number one recommended bowl of ramen is the garlic tonkatsu. That smells nice. Thick, fatty pieces of chashu on top. Some onions, scallions, wavy yellow noodles. And you can see the black garlic oil floating on top of the tonkatsu broth. Mm. Ooh. The broth enters the mouth nice and smooth and the flavor kicks in about two seconds later oh it's so nice and smoky and a few seconds in you get that nice porky fatty flavor that seems to just have a little tiny bit of delay mm. noodles are perfect nice and chewy and they have different sizes here you can get a regular or large or extra large 
the noodle grabs onto the broth nicely. This chashu looks so fatty and nice. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, that is scrumptious. I took a bite of the fatty part, and that thing immediately dissipated. That's a delicious piece of chashu. Overall, a very solid bowl of noodles. So here they have house-made chili oil. Add the chili oil. Now you got the smokiness from the garlic, the spice from the chili oil. I got a bowl of cold tandem man. Minced meat on top, salad, leafy greens, tomatoes, sprouts underneath. Underneath that, the same wavy yellow noodles. I don't think I've ever had a cold tandem man before. So give that a really nice mix. <laughs> I adore this. It's very, very nice. I think overall, whatever dry ramen is available, my body's gonna offer that. The noodles here are way chewier. They utilize a sesame dressing to kind of add that sesame element to the tantan noodles. The salad is a nice crunchy compliment. I just love the texture of this. I think this with some chili oil will be even better. This feels like a very much of a fusion dish between like a sesame dressing salad and a bowl of tantan noodles. And usually tantan noodles is made with peanuts, not sesame. I really like how the sesame added such a fragrant element to this bowl of noodles. That's done very, very well. Especially when you're in Hawaii, it's hot outside, come in for a cold bowl of noodles. This is gonna be really refreshingly satisfying. And to finish it off, the homemade almond. <clears throat> I mean, I still got a chili stuck in my throat. Almond tofu pudding. I highly recommend getting this, especially if you ate something spicy like I did. Mm. Super delicate. It definitely has that nice flavor of the almonds. The texture is next to none. This is so good. It's milky, it's creamy. It's just so soothing when it dissolves on your tongue. Highly, highly, highly recommend getting this. Even if you don't want ramen, come here and get this for dessert. And that wraps up a fantastic food day here in Honolulu. As always, all the places I went to, listed down below for you guys. Thank y'all so much for watching. Until we eat again, see you later.